friends welcome back to my channel this is Zubair al Qureshi again with a new video and this session is all about the F5 LTM right so in this uh, lesson what we will be talking about is the uh, is the feature of F5 that is what we call as the priority based memory activation right full, mem full memory activation so let me just log into my mm, VMware ESXi and my EVNG is on. Oh, okay. My EVNG is on. The, so, this is our uh, diagram, right? So, this is the topology we have the F5 and the three pool members. So, now what we will do is uh, the priority based pool member activation, right? What, what this is going to do is so now you have the F5, okay? You have the F5. Uh, okay, let me just erase this. We have the F5 box here, right? F5, and then we have the switch, and then we have three pool members, right? One, two, and three. So, what does this priority based pool mem member activation do? Is it gives gives us the flexibility uh, in a, in a sense that you can group these two members in one group and this in one group, or say you can group server 1 and server 3 in one group and server 2 in one group so i have only three servers so that's why i am grouping these two like this but if you have multiple i mean like 10 servers you can group in in say 5 and 5 or or 8 into 2 8 and 2 right like that so so let's do this what i'll do is i'll make groups of these two so let's number them as group 10 and this as group say something lower than 10 so it's not necessary you should name it 9 or something so let's number this uh, group number 3 so what we can do here is uh, we can train this f5 and tell him whenever uh, you get requests right for this http pool that we have uh, what you're going to do is you are going to use the priority based pool member activation right so priority based pool member and then you have to tell them uh, tell the uh, f5 that this is going to be based on not on the uh, round robin right so we have to change this to ratio based load balancing okay so then you are going to tell the f5 that in we are going to use priority and and that priority member i mean priority group should have the minimum number of uh, pool member in it active right so in our case we have the maximum as two so we can say minimum two should be active so what you will do is it will look for the highest number of the group member of the group right so highest number here we have 10 and inside 10 we have two servers right so server one and server three so the future request that comes to this virtual server ip right it will be forwarded to server one and server 3 only and this server 2 will be sitting on standby okay so i mean i know we can do ratio based uh, and and we can what you do what you say is keep all the servers active but maybe you have a have a requirement such that you need to keep the third server in in standby right so yeah so that can be the case and also what we can do is let's say this uh, this server is uh, i mean hardware is low end as compared to these two servers server 1 and server 3 are beefy servers and server 2 is not that much uh, i mean uh, uh, higher end based on the hardware right so what we can do is we can say this can take only the half uh, traffic okay so for example these these servers took uh, say 10 packets right each and this will take the half say five so two is to one ratio right so you can do it in a sense you can say this is like 20 ratio and this is like 10 ratio so that is again two is to one right so that's what we will do and once uh, i mean any of the servers from the group number 10 right this is the group number 10 fails so say this server 3 goes down what it will do is it will look for the lower group number then 10 and take one server from that group and 
again you have two minimum number of pool members active right so this is the criteria that minimum two members should be active that's that's what we said right it's up to you you can say three depending on the pool num pool members you have so uh, that is the thing and let's uh, let's demonstrate in uh, this in my uh, lab right so i want to clear this so first thing you need to do is uh, okay i have the uh, big ip here this is on 110 so i think yeah this is uh, on 110 so i logged in so first thing you need to do is so you need to go to the pool and the pool list and here inside the http pool you have to go to the pool member so first thing you have to change this load balancing to ratio so as of now i have ratio based membership by default what you can have maybe this thing like this okay so this can be your default uh, what you need to do is you need to change this to ratio based because we are doing ratio right so 2 is to 1 ratio so for that you have to change this to ratio based and after that you have to say that we are going to use the priority group activation and minimum members that you should have is two right so i'll go for two here once this is done update this now the next step is the uh, ratio and priority group right so you can see the priority group here right these two ratio and priority group so i have to go to each of the pool member one by one and i can specify here the ratio So let's keep the ratio 20, or you can see keep it like two, and the the other uh, the, the group uh, group two that one uh, server that we have will keep as one. So it will be two is to one, or you can say 20 is to 10. Again, that is the same thing. So let's keep it two is to one ratio, and the group number is this one is 10. Okay, so I'll keep uh, server one and server three in group number 10, and server two in group number five. Okay, then we'll see how the uh this uh, load balancing behaves so this is updated i'll go to my so you can see here i have updated the ratio and the group so i'll go to server 3 again so ratio should be 2 and group should be 10 right so that is the one update 2 and now i have to go to the third server that is server number 2 and i'll do again 1 i'll keep 1 only and the priority group is 5 update so once that uh, any of the server in the group number 10 fails it will come to this uh, group number 5 and the ratio would be 2 is to 1 so two requests would be sent to group number 10 and one request would be sent to group number 5 okay once this is done you can go to your members you can and you can check this is updated right so now what you do is you can go to your um, statistics let me clear this statistics <clears throat> okay give me some time we reset and then i'll refresh once this is completed done yeah it's it's completed you can see all zeros now let's go to my browser the linux machine right this one i'm here and it's 122 and i can go to my machine and click so it should go to 1 and 3 only 1 3 right 1 3 so because this is in group 10 so i have only two members in group 10 that is 1 and 3 so that's why it will not use the server 2 so if i go here and refresh and i should see there is almost same number of requests that were sent to server 1 and server 3 right so now we have to test if one of the servers in the group number 10 fails will the server to get activated and if so it should get the half number of requests right compared to group number 10 so what i'll do is uh, there are many options to disable i um, mean one pool member one is to turn off the virtual machine or the server itself that's what where i can just go and stop shut down this uh, this uh, router right second is i go to this node okay and then i shut down the uh, here i can just shut down node number 3 say for example because that is in group number 10 right so here i can go and disable so but and the third option is okay let me tell you the third option that i i have already told you this this thing but uh, yeah i just want to 
repeat and so that you remember so here also you can do disable right so what is the difference between disabling here and here right and and on the i mean pulling out the cable of the server server so obviously so that is very uh, harsh in a sense that all the uh, active connections will be lost right it will be gone uh, it will not be serving that the server will not serve the active connection what will happen is in the nodes so the the uh, drawback is any pool that is using these nodes all the i mean pool members okay on this all the pool i mean pool will be affected all the pools will be affected if you if you turn off or disable the server from here so if you go to the pool itself http and then disable from here so all other pools will not be affected and the active connections will still be uh, i mean handled by the server 3 only okay so i'll go here and disable here and let's see if uh, the server 2 gets activated how, and how can we check we go we can go to the statistics again i'll clear the statistics you can see server 3 is down so reset my uh, statistics so i can see the packets again going it could be to i mean the new new request should go to server 1 and server 2 and that to in a 2 is to 1 ratio right so let me go to my uh, linux machine and let's again do the so here you can see i uh, one goes to server so it's like two is to one so one two to the server one and in one request to server two right so you can see this here clearly if i refresh so it's almost like two is to one right 70k and 39k so this is almost two is to one uh, so that is the um, priority based uh, full member activation right so hope you guys uh, like the video and understood the concept here so let me go and uh, i mean make this to the default that is one and priority group is zero update so guys just let me know if you uh, i mean this should be clear to you guys so you need to practice this and let me know if you have any doubts in this right and and also don't forget don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also